Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of College and Career Pathways, where every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m., we provide you with information on various colleges, universities, financial aid resources, uh, skilled trade professions, technical schools, um, skilled trade programs, and career readiness skills, all designed to help you make the best career decisions possible. I'm Tony Curitan, your host, and today we are with Deborah Cohen from Douglas J. Avita School of Cosmetology. Welcome back, Deborah. We're so glad to have you. Thank you for having me. It's nice to be back. Um, can you see my screen by chance? Oh, Not wait. at all. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm getting there. I, I apologize. It's been a minute since I've done a, a virtual. Um, there we go. You can see that now, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I can. <laughs> awesome. Let me. Okay. So um, I am Deborah. I'm a field admissions rep at Douglas J. So I do a lot of, it's good to be back on the road and out traveling. Um, I, you know, for the last two years, it's been pretty much all virtual. So it's kind of nice to get back out face to face. Um, although this is nice for a change to get back on the on the other side of it, it's um, interesting how we we adapt and change to what we need to. So um, I can't make my screen go here. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to give you a little history, a background about Douglas J, kind of who we are, what we do. Um, you know, the difference between us and a lot of other schools like us, and um, Oh, geez, I stuck again. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm figuring out as I go. Um, okay, so little background about us. This is a picture of Doug Weaver and his wife, Sharon, our founders. And they started the company 55 years ago in East Lansing, just a really tiny um, little salon. And I think as, you know, it wasn't really in his plans to start a school. He kind of had visions of opening a salon, growing it, opening another one, growing it, opening another, um, and, and maybe just owning like a big franchise of salons was kind of his uh, original plan. But as he was hiring and expanding and growing, he wasn't super impressed with the level of education that students had coming out of school. He felt like they were learning how to pass the state board exam, but they weren't learning the business skills and, you know, the very basic things, um, that you need to be really successful in the industry. And he felt like they they came out of school um, knowing a lot, but didn't have the hands-on experience to go with it. Um, so that's kind of how we entered the school world. Um, we actually own and operate four professional salon and spas in six institutes today. So lots of growth, lots of opportunity. Um, Doug Weaver was definitely a, a mentor. He loved the industry. He had a passion for for teaching and for um, creating opportunities. He always said he was in the business of building relationships with people and he just so happened to do hair. And I love that because it really is, you know, they, they go really hand in hand and you have to be able to communicate and, and really enjoy people to do really well in the industry. So again, 55 years we have been around. We are an Aveda Institute and there's Aveda Institutes all over the world. Uh, I was lucky enough to see one in Scotland, um, well, a few years back now, but um, really cool to be able to have a little slice of home um, so far away. So Aveda is actually owned by Estee Lauder and um, we use all Aveda products. We, Doug was actually part of, um, he helped create the curriculum for Aveda, the first Aveda Institutes. So pretty cool to have that background. Um, we are continuing to grow. We actually just um, are in the process of buying another school in Nebraska. So I love that it's still growing, still learning, still, um, you know, trying to make our mark. So uh, today his two sons, Scott and TJ, run the company. Um, we always say they're kind of yin and yang. Scott is very, uh, they're both licensed cosmetologists. Scott is really business minded. He, um, he helped create the curriculum with, you know, like, our students learn a basic profit and loss sheet and they learn um, social media skills and how to build their online portfolio. And 
customer service skills and retail management and you know all those really important things that when students go work in a salon uh, it will only help them you know grow their business their own business so we have scott for that kind of leading the business side of it and then tj um scott is a talker he'll talk your ear off he's a great storyteller he loves to be around people and super high energy uh, he actually speaks at every single orientation at every single um campus we have so every student that comes through the doors gets to meet scott and i think that you know for as big as we've gotten we still very much have that family culture which is great uh, tj's really quiet he doesn't say a whole lot uh, he actually still sees guests a couple of days a week at our Okama salon. He's really good at what he does. He's very well known in the industry. He's done a lot of like editorial styling. He just did a big photo shoot in Miami not too long ago. Um, so it's good to kind of have that, that balance of the business side and what's going on uh, trend-wise in the industry and what, what services guests are requesting and um, having somebody on that creative side of it as well. So we are nationally accredited, and that just means there's financial aid available for those that qualify. Um, so it's just nice to know there's not a lot of cosmetology schools that are accredited. So it is nice to know we also have a whole financial aid team at each of our campuses. So they can walk through the process with the student, which is awesome to, it can be a big scary um, obstacle for some people. So it's nice to have that, it's nice to have somebody there to just kind of walk you through with questions. Um, so as far as campuses, we have four here in Michigan. Um, East Lansing is kind of our, our home base. Our corporate offices are there. That's where our first salon was. Uh, we are directly across from Michigan State University. And I think when they created the these locations, they were so smart because our students get so much hands-on experience and so much of like the real salon-like feeling. Um, so learning, you know, time management skills and again, that, that customer service, the interaction with people, um, being able to, on average, they see about seven guests per day. A lot of salons don't even see that many people. So it's a really busy, big um, setting that, that they can really, you know, flourish in and, and build their confidence and their skill level and all that fun stuff. So it's, it's a, all of them are in like big busy areas. Uh, this is the inside of our East Lansing campus. So the bottom picture there is a um, clinic floor. It's a lot bigger than it looks. It actually kind of wraps around the corner. Uh, and then the top picture is our retail section. And of course, even Sparty, Sparty pops in every now and then. We're really well known in the East Lansing area because like I said, that's kind of where we started and the, the Weaver family has done a lot for the community. So we are also downtown Royal Oak. So another beautiful campus. It's um, two-story, all glass. It's really pretty, especially this time of year with all the lights and um, busy area, lots of you know restaurants and shopping and, and all that fun stuff. So this is the inside of Royal Oak. We are downtown Ann Arbor as well. So super busy area. This is probably our busiest uh, campus. There are always, always something going on nearby here. And then also Grand Rapids, uh, right downtown. This is probably my favorite as far as like just the vibe of the campus. It's cool. It's big. Um, it's in a really cool area. Lots going on downtown and just kind of a fun, fun vibe. They have the um, glass garage doors. They open in the spring and the fall and um, they have music loud and it's just a, a cool place to be. So we're also downtown um, Chicago and Knoxville. So both very cool cities to visit. Um, you know, go spend a year at cosmetology school in another fun, fun city. So uh, University of Tennessee is right around the corner from Knoxville, really cool area. Um, and it's a little warmer. Well, they don't get much snow there. So that would be tempting enough for me to pack up for 12 months. <laughs> um, it is really important to the Weaver family that our campuses give back to different organizations that are, um, you know, in, in the communities that we work and live in. So we do a lot of different, um, different partnerships, depending on where we are. I know our Ann Arbor campus just did a food drive for an animal shelter. So I think it's cool to be able to, to be proud of where you go to school. Um, again, it goes back to that, like building relationships and, and, getting involved in your community and, um, you know, the, those 
aren't necessarily what make a great cosmetologist, but I think there's a lot of little pieces that, that we learn and um, grow from, and this is one of them. So um, as far as programs, we do have four. We have cosmetology, osteology, massage therapy, and barber. So our COS program, um, it's 1500 hours, no matter where you go in Michigan. Our program is about 11 months if you do day classes, and then just over a year if you're doing night classes. Um, so we do offer both. And COS is pretty broad, it has a little bit of everything. So hair, makeup, skin, nails, waxing. Um, cosmetology is pretty, pretty broad, like I said. So part of our curriculum that I love, we include some career exploration. Um, so there's a whole section with like career prep. So we do some mock interviewing, um, building resume building. We do a couple career fairs every year that students can participate in. Um, and then, you know, just exploring different jobs in the industry that, that maybe nobody has ever heard of or knows that it even exists. Um, six of our Royal Oak students recently were invited to go to New York Fashion Week to do, um, runway hair and makeup. So two of them were actually offered jobs on the spot and they're going back and they are super excited, but either one of them ever had anticipated that would be a career path for them. So just learning about different jobs in the industry and, and how I think people automatically think cosmetologists and working behind a chair and maybe that is what they do for, you know, sometime maybe that's, maybe that's just a path to the next thing for them. Um, so just here's some, a list of some of the, the jobs that we've explored and had students have had success in them. So uh, we also have osteology. So technically in Michigan, if you're a licensed cosmetologist, you're automatically an esthetician. Uh, Asti is 600 hours, takes just four and a half months for the day, the day classes and about six months for evening. Um, super, super popular right now. This is a really growing, you know, it's for somebody who, doesn't necessarily want to do any of the hair services, but really likes the skincare side. Um, so they learn how to do skin analysis, um, consultations, and it's all skin related, so facials, waxing, makeup. Um, we've just added recently lash lift and tints to our curriculum, as well as some of our campuses are doing pilots for lash extensions and Chicago is doing one for chemical peels. So um, again, always growing, adding to the curriculum of things that we know guests want and so students need to learn. Uh, it's an industry that's always changing. So it's important that we have the most updated uh, curriculum. Um, some jobs in the SD field, of course, you know, working in a salon or a spa, um, maybe coming back and teaching. We've had students who have gone into sales roles done really well. Um, I think the big draw right now with SD is like the, the boom with Medi spas. So kind of get, getting them in the door, um, working with medical professionals who can offer like Botox and injectables and fillers and, um, and all that fun stuff. So that's a, a definitely a big growing segment in the industry. We also have massage. Um, Right now, we're only offering massage classes at our Ann Arbor campus and our East Lansing campus, and it's 625 hours, so it takes just under six months. Um, this is a super high demand job right now, so we've had students, you know, with really nice sign-on bonuses. We've had a couple who have recently taken jobs on cruise ships or high-end resorts. Um, really, every, if you have a license, you could work whenever you want right now. It's pretty pretty cool job to have, very flexible as well. So it's nice for somebody who, you know, may wanna go back to school and do something in addition to it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We have students work like chiropractor's office, physical therapy, um, sports massage, all kinds of jobs in the massage um, field as well. And then Barber is our newest program. Um, our Barber campus is a set up, uh, all alone. Um, it's in East Lansing in its own separate building. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. It's um, very like vintage barber shop, but there's not a whole lot of barber schools in Michigan. And I think barbers really changed a lot over the last few years. So it's kind of nice to see um, the growth that we've had. It just started a couple of years ago for us. And 
Um, people are usually surprised to know Barber takes a little bit longer than cause. It's 1800 hours. Um, so it takes just over a year. It's similar. So they do, Barber students will still learn like chemical services. They'll learn, they can do perms. Um, they learn about skin care because they are doing like straight blade shaves. Um, they will not do any type of nail services. Um, they use different equipment, different techniques. But, and then there is a, like if you're already licensed in cause and want to become licensed in barber, um, this is pretty new, but they're able to like transfer hours. So that's exciting because I think more and more people are wanting that, that dual licensure as well. So um, what else? I mentioned our um, career fairs we do. So we do help with career placement forever for all of our Douglas J students. We have an alumni page that students can connect um, and just kind of see what's what other students have done and the successes. Um, each of our campuses does two a year where we invite salons and spas to come and meet our students. Um, of course, like any other field, everybody's hiring right now. So they love to come. They love Douglas J students. They, um, you know, a lot of times we'll hire right on the spot. And we've had students who, you know, have graduated at one campus and come to another career fair just to, um, you know, they wanted to move or five years later, just want a career change, um, something like that. So we do offer, offer a lifetime career placement assistance. And what else? What kind of questions do we have? Deborah, what is the tuition for uh, cosmetology? Well, what is the tuition? What is the tuition rate for all, all programs? So the COS program is 24,000. Uh, sorry, we just changed it. 24,500. Um, and again, we, we do have, we actually have a scholarship available for high school seniors right now for the COS program only. Um, Barber is 18,000. Esty is 12,750. And massage is the same as the SC, so twelve seven fifty. Do you get the nail tech training in the COS program? Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Logan, did you have a question? No, I, I mean, basically, I was going to ask essentially what you did, ironically enough, but one question I did have was regarding uh, just like information I could maybe provide some of my students if there's uh, specific links or pamphlets, perhaps I missed that. Yeah, so I actually didn't, I normally when I'm in person, I give them a card to fill out. Um, okay. So you could definitely pass on, you know, my email address to them um, if they want to schedule a tour or um, want you know, specific information. Otherwise they are able to book tours um, right at our website and our okay. um, uh, scholarship information is on our website right now as well. There's a link for that. I okay. should have had yeah, that's it good enough. There. And then of course I can just uh, give your name as a contact if needed. Yeah, yeah, okay. that'd be great. Yeah, that's it, that's perfect, thanks. Deborah, I also wanted to ask, um, with regards to the SD program, are they able to, um, once they complete, uh, become makeup artists? Yeah, so there's not technically like a, an art a license in Michigan for that. So the SD would probably be the best um, fit for somebody that wanted to go that route because it does give them, you know, an app, a, like background it can make them a lot more marketable as well because they can offer other services. Um, so that's typically what we do because there's like, um, you know, special effects makeup. We don't offer any of that type of, pro there is like a, another program for that. And I don't think it's a license either. I think it's a certificate in Michigan, but um, a little bit different. We're not doing like special effects. We're doing more, you know, fashion makeup. Right, right. Not theatrical, but um, fashion. Okay, good deal. However, our Michigan or our East Lansing SC students did get to go do um, the theater group at Michigan State not too long ago. Um, they went and did, did all the makeup for one of the plays, which was kind of cool. So, you mentioned something about a scholarship. 
Um, how much is it for? Um, it's so every student that enters gets a thousand dollars off their tuition. That's um, in the yeah, and it's a really it's a very cool. We've kind of we started it last year and then we switched it up a little this year, but um, it'll be by campus and there will be finalists. So the the general to enter is an essay with a like a hair or makeup look that they like. And what's inspiring them to pursue a, an education in this field. Um, and then they take five of those from each campus and that person will get a $5,000 scholarship that wins. They'll go in front of a live panel of judges and do hair and makeup. So um, there's a couple different tiers of it. Is that a um, rolling application for that scholarship or is there a certain time period in which students can apply for it? Great question. Uh, March 1st is the deadline for that. Okay, good deal. Could you send me a um, digital flyer on that so that I can make sure we publish that? Yes, I absolutely will. Make a note right now. Yay. Um, well, um, if there aren't any more questions, and I don't believe I have any more, <laughs> we're going to bring this session to a close. Um, thank you, Deborah, so much. Excellent presentation as always. And thank, thank you, you guys much. for joining. And we will um, see you all next time. And everybody have a great day. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, Deborah. Thank you again, and I will see you in May. Sounds great. Let me, what is your email? Just, I'm sure I have it, but I want to, before I hang up, I want to make sure I have the right one. I'll send it to you right now. T-O-N-I-C at A-T-S-E-D-U dot net. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much, Deborah. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.